Have you ever pondered over how the pyramids, those colossal structures of ancient times, came to be? How did our ancestors accomplish such an architectural marvel without the technology we possess today? Join us as we unravel the mysteries of the pyramids, a journey back in time to the cradle of civilization. Our journey begins around 2700 BC in the land of Egypt with the reign of Pharaoh Djoser. This period marked a significant transformation in ancient Egyptian architecture, giving birth to the first pyramid, the Step Pyramid, a monument that would stand the test of time and become a symbol of the Egyptian civilization. The mastermind behind this architectural marvel was none other than Imhotep, a polymath who wore many hats, an architect, physician, and a high priest. Imhotep was not only the royal vizier to Pharaoh Djoser, but also his most trusted advisor. His innovative design of the Step Pyramid marked a significant shift from the traditional flat-roofed rectangular mastaba tombs of the early dynastic period. The pyramid was conceived as a series of six mastabas, each smaller than the one beneath it, stacked to form a terraced step structure. The entire complex was a city of the dead, a sacred space where the pharaoh would ascend to join the sun god, Ra, in his eternal journey across the sky. This colossal structure was not merely a tomb, but a symbol of the divine status of the pharaoh, a testament to his power and authority. The pyramid was designed to ensure the pharaoh's safe passage to the afterlife, equipped with everything he might need for his eternal journey, from food and furniture to symbolic objects of power. Beneath the pyramid lay a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, a complex network designed to protect the pharaoh's mummy and his wealth from grave robbers. The heart of this network housed the burial chamber, a sacred space where the pharaoh's body was laid to rest, mummified and adorned with precious jewels. The construction of the step pyramid set a precedent, a new standard for royal tombs. It was a feat of engineering and a work of art that would inspire future generations of architects. It marked a new era in the history of architecture, the era of pyramids. And so the blueprint for the future pyramids was laid out, a blueprint that would evolve into structures far grander and more complex. Scene script. Fast forward to the fourth dynasty, and we witness the construction of the most famous pyramids of all, the pyramids of Giza. Imagine, if you will, the immense labor and architectural genius that went into the creation of these monumental structures. First, let's visit the largest pyramid, the Great Pyramid, built for the Pharaoh Khufu. This grand monument, standing at a staggering 481 feet, was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. That's a record that hasn't been broken by many modern skyscrapers. The construction of Khufu's pyramid was no small task, requiring an estimated 2,300,000 blocks of stone, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. It's a feat that still baffles architects and engineers today. The precision with which these blocks were cut and assembled is truly awe-inspiring, with each block fitting together so seamlessly that not even a blade of grass could squeeze in between. Next, we journey to the Pyramid of Khafra, the second largest of the Giza pyramids. This pyramid, although slightly smaller than its predecessor, is no less impressive. Khafra's pyramid is unique in that it still retains some of its original smooth limestone casing at the top, giving us a glimpse of how these pyramids would have looked in their prime shining white beacons under the Egyptian sun. The construction of Khafra's pyramid was also a massive undertaking, involving thousands of laborers working in extreme conditions. These workers weren't slaves, as is often depicted, but rather paid laborers, who took great pride in their work. They were fed, housed and cared for, a testament to the importance of their role in creating these iconic structures. Last but certainly not least, we come to the Pyramid of Menkora, the smallest of the three, this pyramid, built for the pharaoh Menkor, is distinguished by its lower half, which is encased in red granite. The construction of Menkora's pyramid was a testament to the evolving techniques and materials used by the ancient Egyptians in their quest for architectural perfection. Despite the challenges faced by the laborers, such as the harsh desert climate and the physical demands of the work, these pyramids were built with remarkable speed. The construction of each pyramid took roughly 20 years, a blink of an eye in the grand scheme of history. The pyramids of Giza are more than just giant tombs. They represent the culmination of centuries of architectural innovation, the strength of the human spirit, and the enduring legacy of the ancient Egyptians. They were built to last, and last they have, for over 4,000 years, 
surviving the rise and fall of empires, the ravages of time and the shifting sands of the desert. The pyramids of Giza stand as a testament to the grandeur of the pharaohs and the might of the ancient Egyptians. The pyramids, however, were not confined to Egypt. They were a global phenomenon. As we travel across the globe, we find that the imposing structures of the pyramids were not exclusive to the Egyptian landscape. Let's take a journey to explore these architectural marvels beyond the borders of Egypt. Our first stop is Mexico, home to the Mayan pyramids. The Mayans, a civilization that thrived in the tropical regions of Central America, were master architects in their own right. Their pyramids, such as the Pyramid of Kukulkan at Chichen Itza, are a testament to their advanced understanding of astronomy and the calendar system. Unlike the Egyptian pyramids that served as royal tombs, these pyramidal structures were used primarily as temples and observatories. Next, we journey to the northeastern part of Africa, to Sudan, where the Nubian pyramids stand. These pyramids, though smaller in size than their Egyptian counterparts, are no less impressive. Built by the rulers of the ancient Kushite kingdoms, the Nubian pyramids served a similar purpose as the Egyptian ones, as tombs for the deceased monarchs. The steep angles of these pyramids, however, are a distinct architectural feature setting them apart. Our final destination is China, where the existence of pyramids is a lesser known fact. The Chinese pyramids are ancient mausoleums and burial mounds, built to house the remains of several early emperors of China. Unlike the Egyptian and Nubian pyramids, these were made of earth and shaped more like trapezoids, blending seamlessly into the landscape over time. Despite the geographical distances and cultural differences, there is a unifying thread that ties these structures together. Whether in Egypt, Mexico, Sudan or China, these pyramids were monumental undertakings, symbols of power and a testament to the civilizations that built them. They were, in essence, bridges to the afterlife, created to honor and preserve the memory of the deceased. From Africa to Asia, from Europe to the Americas, the pyramids were a symbol of power and a bridge to the afterlife. The pyramids, these awe-inspiring structures, have left an indelible mark on human history. Their towering forms rise from the sands, a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of a civilization long gone. Yet their influence remains ever-present in our world today. The pyramids have had a profound impact on architecture and culture, far beyond the borders of Egypt. Their geometric precision and grand scale have served as an inspiration for countless structures over the centuries. From the ancient ziggurats of Mesopotamia to the modern glass and steel skyscrapers that punctuate our city skylines, the influence of the pyramids can be seen in the very fabric of our built environment. Yet, their legacy extends beyond the realm of architecture. The pyramids have permeated our culture in innumerable ways. They have found their way into our literature, our art, and our folklore. They have become symbols of mystery and knowledge, of power and immortality. In popular culture, the pyramids are often associated with the enigmatic and the unexplained. They serve as the backdrop for thrilling tales of adventure and discovery, from the exploits of Indiana Jones to the mysteries unraveled by the Scooby-Doo gang. They have become icons of the unknown, sparking curiosity and fueling the imagination. The theories that surround the pyramids are as varied as they are fascinating. Some believe they were built by aliens, while others propose they were the work of a lost civilization with advanced technology. There are those who see them as astronomical observatories, and those who believe they hold the key to spiritual enlightenment. While these theories may seem far-fetched to some, they reflect our collective fascination with the pyramids. They represent our longing to understand the past, to uncover the secrets of a civilization that achieved such remarkable feats. They echo our desire to connect with our ancestors, to understand their dreams, their struggles, and their triumphs. The pyramids continue to captivate us, not just for their physical grandeur, but for what they symbolize. They stand as a reminder of our potential, of what we can achieve when we dare to dream, when we strive to reach beyond the confines of our present reality. As we stand in their shadow, we are reminded of the ingenuity, the ambition and the perseverance of our ancestors. The pyramids remain after all these millennia, a testament to the power of human imagination.